What's going on guys? Today is episode two of Madden Reddit, but before we hop into it, I did pick the winners for the giveaway. So shout out to Jesse and Bryson on winning those two $25 gift cards. And if you are new here, hit the subscribe button. We're on the road to 3,000 subscribers. Thank you guys so, so much for 2,000. We're hitting all these goals way faster than I ever anticipated. So I just want to take a second and thank each and every one of you guys who do hit that subscribe button. Um, it really does mean a lot. And I will be going live later today on Twitch. So go ahead and hit the link in the description. We're gonna be playing some of you. I'm gonna be playing my viewers in Madden a little bit. And also we're gonna play a little GTA later in the stream. Have a little fun with that. So if that's something you're interested in, go ahead and hit the link in the description. I might even be live right now while you're watching this. But um, even, if, if, even if I'm not live, go ahead and drop a follow so you do get notified when I do go live. And also we have the link to the Discord in the description as well. For the rate your teams videos, I want you guys to drop your teams in the uh, Discord from now on. There's a spot on the Discord where you can drop your teams and I will review them on there. It's a little bit easier for me and it's also a little bit easier for you guys as well. So go ahead and hit the link in the description for the Discord. There's a whole lot of cool things on there. Um, yeah, so without further ado, let's hop into it. All right, so the first post we're going to be looking at is a video and it says I'm officially done with this game. So let's see what happened to this guy. Let's see. He's got some new at quarterback rolling out. I'm guessing he's on defense. Oh, yeah, he was def. Wow. <laughs> a controller would have been thrown. A controller would have been thrown if that happened to me. That dude literally mossed three dudes and knocked them all down. <laughs> dude, that, oh shit, that's so tough. Okay, so the next post here is, are cornerback abilities worth it? In my opinion, cornerback abilities are not worth it unless you run a cornerback that gets enforcer. I believe Night Train Lane is the only, I believe Night Train Lane is the only cornerback in the game right now that gets enforcer unless you move Minka to corner. I think Night Train Lane is the only corner that gets it. Maybe Mel Blunt does too. I don't, I'm not sure on that, but I know for a fact Night Train Lane does. So my opinion on cornerback abilities is it's only worth running a cornerback with abilities that has Enforcer. All right, so the next post here is X Factor on Bowman or Willis. I feel this is kind of a common question in the community because a lot of people do run the 49ers theme teams. Um, but in my opinion, I think it is better to run X Factor on Willis because Bowman has good zone. He has good play rec. He has good speed. So he, so he can make plays on his own. He doesn't need Lurker. He doesn't need anything. But Willis has that lower zone um, and obviously has good hit power. And he's one of the best enforcers in the game, in my opinion. Whenever I face this dude, he at least causes one fumble a game against me. or something. He, The card is just crazy. So I would probably always run abilities on Willis, even when he gets his next upgrade, because that Bowman card is just a beast by himself. If you, if you, you Even if you're not using that Bowman card, can make plays. So, All right, so the next post here is, should I switch Moss for Largent? And uh, no, you definitely shouldn't. That's a terrible idea. All right, so the next post here says I'm struggling passing and throwing help. He also says that he's having trouble moving the ball. In my opinion, you should just stick to running. Uh, that's what I do. Passing is stupid to do at this game, especially at this point of the year. There's so many good DBs. There's so many good safeties, so many good middle linebackers that the run game is so, so good this year. There's not even a point throwing the ball. I can't even tell you how many games I've won throwing one for two with Vic and rushing with Walter for like 300 yards. So I'm just telling you right now, running the ball is way better than passing it. Uh, I'm sure you already know that, but I know running the, I know spamming run plays is kind of toxic this year, but it's the best way to win. So uh, <laughs> it's just, it, it just is, it just is. There's, there's no debating that either. So, all right. So the next post here says, who is your fave Madden streamer or YouTuber? In my opinion, my completely non-biased opinion, the only correct answer to this question is Ferdy. All right, so the next post here says review of golden ticket players I used. Um, we got Corvon LeBlanc, a little guy that makes big plays, ideal for slot. We'll get mossed every time, okay? We got RG3. He said he had him 30-30 zone run and fast break, and he never fumbled for me. The best part is he never gets tired. Plays like Randall Cunningham on steroids. Uh, Bo Jackson, get too many joystick. Yeah, we know that. Uh, Taylor Mays, yeah, goaded user, absolutely goaded user. Hit sticks, everything. Dude, this guy's a beast. But he, this guy did say he got he, he got burned by Tyreek on crossers, okay? Uh, Reggie White, yeah, insane uh, pass rush and run stopping. Uh, yeah, his price tag actually is pretty high, too. Uh, Troy P, this guy didn't like his Troy P. He said he was too small and useless against the run. And the golden tickets that he played against were Josh Allen and Mike Vick. Okay, so I know that what I'm about to say doesn't really relate to this post, but a lot of people do ask me what golden ticket I'm going to pick for my free uh, golden ticket fantasy pack. So I'm going RG3 because I feel like picking a quarterback is the best option for golden tickets because in the near future i can guarantee you that they're gonna be dropping a whole bunch of cards that have golden ticket looking stats they've already done that with vic they've already done that with steve largent so there's a whole lot of guys in the game already that already have golden ticket stats that aren't even a golden ticket but for me having good abilities on your quarterback is what sets them apart 
So if you're able to get a quarterback that gets Gunslinger, gets Hot Round Master, gets Dashing, gets Escape Artist, if you're able to get a quarterback that can get all four of those things, you're set for the rest of the year. You're not going to need a better, there's not going to be a better quarterback that comes out. Doesn't matter what the stats are, the abilities will never be able to get to that level because they're simply not a golden ticket. So in my opinion, there really isn't a reason why you shouldn't go quarterback. There are so many great options. Josh Allen, Lamar Jackson, RG3, Mike Vick. I wouldn't go Sanu, but some people do want Sanu for those Patriots theme teams and stuff like that. But I would go quarterback. That's my opinion on the whole goal, free golden ticket thing. That's why I'm going RG3. So, uh, yeah. All right. So the next post here is read option, run to perfection. And I like running read options. So let's see. It really is a per perfect read option. Let's see. He actually made the wrong read there. He fumbles. Oh, actually, just the way he drew it up. Touchdown. <laughs> Holy shit. <laughs> Bro, all the clips on Reddit are just dudes getting bailed out. Like, really? Really? It's either dudes getting hoed or dudes getting bailed out. It's one of the two. It's really one of the two. That's the crazy part about Madden this year. You're going to get bailed out or just lucky or, dude. Oh, shit, dude. Like, look at this. He makes the wrong read on the read option and still scores a touchdown on the play. He really <laughs> wow. Wow, dude. All right. So the next post here says, give it up for the Madden Bowl MVP, Tress Way. Uh, yeah, if you missed the Madden Bowl, they were literally dudes running punter at quarterback in competitive Madden. It is the state of this game is just terrible right now. Really, you really have some of the best players in the world are running Tress Way at quarterback. It just doesn't make any sense to me. And the reason why they run Tress Way at quarterback is for faster handoff animations. Like, it's just crazy to me that, that the meta of Madden right now is running a punter at quarterback for quicker handoff animations. It is just crazy to me, dude. It, it's just absolutely crazy. All right, so the next post here says, do you guys think EA doesn't realize that their game is broken? Joke about to win this without having passed the ball a single time. Yeah, and he, he had a very good defense too. But like in football, if a real NFL team came out there and didn't throw the ball once, they're getting boxed. They're getting boxed. But in Madden, you can run the ball every single time and literally win games. You can literally win the Madden Bowl by just running the ball. Like, it's just, it's just terrible, dude. It's terrible. Hopefully, Madden 21, they come different. They make more plays effective. I don't know. Like, I feel like, I say that, I know I say this a lot, but there's not even a point in passing the ball in this game. I know it's way more fun passing the ball in this game, and I like passing the ball a lot, but if you want to win games consistently, you have to run the ball in this game. You just have to. All right, so this post says, what's the move with training at this point of the year? Yeah, I have a shit ton of training as well, but I'm going to sit and wait because in this store right now um apparently there's a draft apparently they added back the draft reroll set and the timer is set for friday which could mean that they're bringing a new promo on friday that's gonna have another training reroll and i'm hoping that all those cards are high overalls and there's just crazy cards that come out this friday but i'm i'm hoping but most likely EA will disappoint but there's a timer set in the training store right now for friday so we could get new uh training rerolls in the uh training store on friday so that's what i'm saving my training for all right, so this post says, I can't even use them all. And this is for a Seahawks theme team. Yeah, the Seahawks have the best theme team for receivers in the game right now. It's not even close. Steve Largent, Devin Hester, Jerry Rice, Joe Dravicious, Nate Burleson, and Tyler Lockett all on the same receiving core. <laughs> Dude, the Seahawks receivers are just dumb good. It is stupid how good they are. All right, so the next post says, started from the bottom. Now they are here. And real, real mutt OGs this year know who this Baker Mayfield is. If you played Muff from the beginning of the year, you know who this card is. You've probably used this card at quarterback. Uh, <laughs> and he was absolutely terrible, dude. This card was absolutely terrible, but everyone had to use him because he was the free not, he was a free 86 quarterback you could use. And uh, yeah, dude, this bigger card was absolutely terrible. Like his mid, I think it was his mid accuracy was so low where like you'd be throwing slant routes, he'd be sailing it and just throwing it to the other team's safeties. Like I remember I used to rage so much using this card, like so much, dude. But yeah, this is the NFL FX Baker Mayfield, dude. Oh, dude. Crazy. All right, so this is the last post we're going to be looking at, and it says, fully chemmed up, Darnell Savage has to be one of the best non-golden tickets in the game. All right, let's see this. 99 speed, 97 excel, 90, 91 tackling, 95 playback, 97 pursuit, 93 man coverage, 95 zone with 97 hit power. This Darnell Savage card is a beast. I hope they give him a power up. If they give him a power up, it's over for the, for the Muck community because this card's so cheap right now. So I don't think they're going to give him a power up. But if they do, this card's going to be even better than he is right now. But Sean Taylor's next upgrade will be better than this guy. And I don't even think it's really a debate. Like, 
This guy looks like an upgraded Shanti. But Shanti's next upgrade will be better than this, dude. I cannot wait for Shanti's next upgrade. I really can't. I'm sitting on that card. I'm I'm still using it. And he still plays crazy for me. Even at his 95 overall, I think he's on my team. No, I think he's actually 97 on my team. But he still plays crazy. All right, guys. That is going to do it for today's video. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching the video. If you are still here, there's probably not many of you guys who are still watching the video at this point. But uh, if you are, uh, shout out to you. So tomorrow we got some power up gameplays. I believe it is Tuesday, so they it is Tuesday, so they usually do drop the new power up expansion cards on Tuesday. So most likely two videos tomorrow's at least on the uh, power up expansion card. So be on the lookout for that, and uh, definitely coming with a uh, I rate your teams part three this week as well. Probably on Thursday. Um, if there's no new content Wednesday, I probably won't post a video on Wednesday. But yeah, I will be streaming probably almost every single night this week. So. Definitely go ahead and hit the link in the description for the Twitch. If I'm not live right now, go ahead and follow so you do get notifications when I do go live. And yeah, if you are new here, the subscribe button. And if, and if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. And uh, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.